I had the good fortune to spend uh, uh, 32 years in the Minnesota State Senate. I was the majority leader for 22 of those years, and I learned a lot of lessons, but uh, one in particular is that the legislature is a very important institution. Failure is not an option in that arena. The legislature is closest to the people. It is the, the lawmaking institution. It sets budgets. It absolutely has to work. At the same time, the job of a legislator has become increasingly more difficult. I think there's a changing role that is emerging and that legislators are being called into arenas in a different manner. They have to be both advocates as well as facilitating leaders. They need to be experts, but at the same time engage the public. And so the policy consensus initiative has been working on helping train legislators to use a power they have or a responsibility that they have. And we refer to it as the power to convene. By virtue of being elected to a state legislative office, the public has given you a certain authority. And one of these is the power to bring people together. And so in order to do that, there are some things that I think that are important for a legislator to keep in mind. Uh, first of all, you have to be inclusive. You have to make sure that all sides of an issue are represented at the table. Now that's sometimes rather difficult for uh, those of us who served in politics. We like to invite our friends and people who see things the way we do, but we might want to leave out the other side. That's uh, not an option. You have to meet in a place that's neutral. Maybe it's the city library or the city hospital boardroom or some uh, spot where nobody thinks that one has an advantage over the others. It's important then to be impartial. You have to leave a sense with all stakeholders that uh, this is a fair, open process and that they're the ones who are going to be heard in this process. You also have to establish a purpose for the process. What's the vision? What's the issue? What are you trying to solve here? Uh, get a clear understanding from the participants in the process. But you have to show that you have an interest and in that you're deeply concerned and involved and care about uh, the process that they're engaged in. You have to keep people moving. Obviously, that's a, a part of this to make sure that there are certain goals that are set and work towards a resolution of differences of opinion. You have to demonstrate a very visible commitment to this process because if the stakeholders at the table get the sense that you're not committed, then it's not going to have the kind of results that you would like. And then finally, uh, make sure that there is an outcome and work towards a set of goals, uh, certain responsibilities that can be carried out, or maybe it's uh, agreement on a particular piece of legislation. Uh, maybe it wouldn't require that. Maybe it's something in your community. Now, for those who serve in the legislature today, let me suggest that uh, this is not only a good process, uh, because if you can get locally people to come together on a solution to a problem, that to me just seems to be the best kind of politics.